on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Behold our new savior! What? As everyone within the castle hall is cheering, screaming, thanking the Lord up above, or many gods, depending on how I want this to go, Beizuku has finally arrived. As you expect, he has a hell of a lot of questions. He's like, uh, excuse me, sir. It's like, yes, yes, hero. Where am I? Oh. <clears throat> you see, we have summoned you here to save our kingdom. From, from what? Well, you know, the usual. Monsters. Demons. Other kingdoms. You know, things like that. Why? Because we see, we need your help. Our kingdom is at the break of ruin, and you are the only one capable of saving us. Really? Indeed. You're serious. But I don't have any. Po oh, <laughs> I believe this has a word from what you would uh, call home isekai I believe how do you ah uh, believe me this has happened before really ah uh, yes many kingdoms from uh, the gods know from where I just just uh, summon heroes in their greatest hour of need and you have been chosen. Really? Yes. We need your help, hero. Or our kingdom is doomed to fall into ruin. Will you help us? Can you send me back? Um... Maybe. <laughs> but how can I help? I'm not, I don't have any special powers. Ah, but that. Since you are indeed Isekai, we taking the liberty of granting you a random power. Like most sword heroes, you do have an affinity for magic. Or, at the very least, you're able to use it. Just as we do. Okay, now let's see what your gift is as well as how powerful it is. Is everyone is still cheering? Izuku being how he is still, he's like a little embarrassed. Beyond the possibility, he's like, oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. Embarrassedism. Alright. Let's see what there is to see about your status. And looking through Izuku's skills and all what now with appraisal. Hmm. That can't be right. What? I, I didn't get anything? Um. It's not that. You did get something, but... It's pre a pretty basic enhancement to your physical abilities. What are you talking about? Hmm. How should I put this? Right now, you're the same strength as what we would consider a regular soldier. You're able to punch through that concrete wall. Oh. 
Really? Indeed. But, however, you do have access to magic just as we do, so perhaps that could come into play more often than your basic skill, as it seems. Basic? Is that bad? No, no, no! It's just, uh, not as impressive as, he, as we would have thought. Is there a way for me to make it stronger? Yeah, I, I would say so, but that would require a lot of training, uh, as well as oof, time. I have no idea how good you can truly become in a short amount of time until our next war. <coughs> war? Oh, did I not mention that? No! Oh. Forgive me, Hero, but... Hmm. Yes, they're gonna, they're gonna, we're having another war. Another one? Yes. We're having another war. Uh... No, 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 no. No. When is this, uh, war? Two months. Uh, you say I'm about as strong as a regular soldier? Yes. How many soldiers do you have? 10,000. And every one of them is as strong as me right now. Correct. What about the enemy? How many soldiers do they have? 50,000. This was the same what's happened today. No, watch it. I was going home. I was, I was heading straight home from school. This, this was supposed to be my last year of middle school. Oh, calm yourself, hero. How can I say calm, knowing that I'm gonna die? Hey, you're not going to die. Not if we have something to say about it. Of course, I shall train you myself as the court mage. When it comes to magic, I am the greatest of us all. But still, your kingdom is near ruins. <clears throat> that is true. But that's made because we can't risk me dying. Or else we truly would be screwed. I was the only one with enough power to actually summon you here. Oh. Yeah. They need me. Huh. Yes. Now, if you don't mind, as this is his first actual magic lesson, it takes him a minute to actually learn how to use it. At very least, when it comes to him using body magic, he is pretty much like a matchstick. When it comes to ice and water, it's like a trickle or a small sprinkle of snow or whatnot. Earth, he just tosses pebbles. Lightning, just little sparks. And so on and so forth. Being not impressive, but you gotta remember this is Izuku with the notebooks, the analytical mind, him thinking, okay, so how does this work? How can I implement this for this? And then he comes up with something. Knowing how the body works, especially when it comes to the trick pulses and nerves using lightning magic he can speed up his body's metabolism 
and other things. Possibly making it so he recovers faster. If not, training is not going to be as hellish as he once thought. This not only gets him training away because of the lightning, it also gives him more opportunities to utilize it and pretty much beef himself up because of using his gift. As yes, the first two weeks, he goes through utter hell. He is just grateful that there's magic who can heal his wounds. But you also got to realize this era is more like a mixture between technological advancements as well as medieval -esque tendencies. <laughs> First things first, when it comes to him sleeping, it's a new place. He's never been here, he doesn't really know anyone, let alone trust them. And that anxiety of him being a summoned hero with basic bitch stats, <clears throat> I mean, with not the best of statuses, he also has to worry about the fact that he could make it so... Everyone is going to die, possibly, if he does not get very well prepared. Huh. That doesn't seem like too much of a hassle. Of course not. But it's the fact that he might not go home that really dri drives him to like, Oh my god, I can't sleep. I'm going to be in a somniac forever. It's only until the court mage, Asmodeus, he decides, like, okay, good news, good news, very good news. I can send you back. Really? Ah, yes. Indeed I can. Then he be. Well... You think he might be able to summon another hero? Don't tell me you're thinking about abandoning us. No, 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 not that. It's just, yes, I'm making progress. Progress, yes, you are. All things considered, you're, you're progressing faster than our soldiers are, but you gotta think about it. You've barely been here. But don't you think there'd be someone more suitable to be a hero than me? <sighs> Look, the summoning ritual is highly complex, as well as it picks people out in a random. <sighs> and you were chosen. Now, I'm not one for superstition and whatnot, usually. Or when it comes to fate. In fact, I like to test it quite a lot. But I believe you were brought here for a reason. Reason why you were summoned. I believe it was fate that brought you to us. And it shall be that fate. Your fate to save us, to crush the opposition that threatens this kingdom. And is Zuko crying? What's wrong, girl? Izuku, you can just call me Izuku. Well, Izuku, why are you crying? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Uh. <clears throat> well, as you know, yes, I am the one I summoned you. And yes, as well as, though you do have, at least did, have less than desirable stats, I can see through your determination, despite you wanting to go home already, you are going to be destined for great things. I believe in you. 
Izuku crying even more. He's like, what is it? No one's ever said they believed in me before. Oh my god, what kind of life have you been living? Um, I can say at least normal for my standards, but with a little bit of, what the hell? Oh, I apologize. No need, no need. If I think you, you've uh, inspired me. To, to not give up. Very good. Because I have to be honest, I won't be able to actually help you get home. What, what do you mean? Uh, the spell will take 10 years. <coughs> what? What? Ten years to f actually activate. No. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Indeed. Uh, no. Uh, so much of my life would be gone by then. There wouldn't be no point to co going back home. I'm sorry. I will uh, give you more to adjust. I, I understand. As yes, uh, Izuku is pretty much like. My life is over. Ten years? <sighs> I can't believe this. I was supposed to go to UA and... Remembering Bakugo's, like, yeah, there's no way you're going to get in. It's like... But I would have failed the test anyway. As he starts to think about his final moments on Tentacle Earth. In which, yes, he was going home. This is right around the time of the Sludge Villain attack. The first one. With him in it. When he was just whisked away to a fantasy world. Hmm. But... Yeah, I realize like, I'm not. Then, him just starting to wallow in his sorrow, he just started thinking, I may not have been able to become a hero then, back on Earth, but here, this could be just what I needed. And who knows, maybe if I do go home. <sighs> well, then again, I don't know if I'll still have my abilities. Or what's my mom gonna... Oh no, that's right! I completely... Oh, oh no, 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 that's, that's, that's very bad. Well, she gonna be thinking that she don't think someone kidnapped me or. <sighs> oh, no, 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 this is, this is terrible. <sighs> okay. Let me see. <gasps> That's right. Maybe if I. No, no, that doesn't work. I still have to wait 10 years, but I wish I could just talk to her. But no, I can't. I... <sighs> huh. You know what? I'm going to 
gonna try and make the best of this. I'm gonna be a hero. Man, nah, maybe not at home. It was hopeless for me back then, but now. Now I can truly fulfill my dream of being a hero. As yes, he's pretty much going back and forth as you would expect. Like, I want to go home, but I also, but I also can't leave them hanging. I want to be a hero, but uh, I don't know how heroes are here. Him pretty much conf being conflicted, wondering, okay, so how am I going to do this? How is this going to work? Him constantly thinking about Inko. <sighs> well, Mom, I can, at the very least I can say my I'm going to fulfill my dream. <sighs> As, yes, he's mumbling, has gotten worse considering that he's not really just talking to himself about bowel strategies or anything or quirks because there ain't no quirks here what he really he's talking about is talking to Inko out loud people think it's weird but like well he is the hero so let's just not to uh, Huh. Question him. <sighs> but it is a little disconcerting thinking. Okay, this is a war. <sighs> if if I do, I have to kill someone. Will I be able to? Will, will that be within the realm of possibility for me? Would I be able to take a life? Or is this... What if I fail? What if I die on the battlefield or... Someone dies because of me. I am pretty much out of nowhere slapping himself in the face. Like, I cannot, I do not need that negative, negative energy right now. There's nothing about what ifs. Let's try to think. Okay. Whew. Let's think about what I can do. It's only been like two or three weeks since I got here. I made a formidable progress. Yeah. If I can get to the point where I can level a forest, that will be even better. <sighs> Just need to start working on the whole lightning magic combination with my gift. That should do it. I'm cranking up his train to the point where... He can pretty much level a whole, you could say a city block, but then a month and a half. Yeah, that's helpful. No joke, but you gotta remember, he's go. he may have to kill people. Will he be able to? Find out next time. Bullshit. Let's find out right now. It's been the whole training sessions when it comes to Yusuke, but now the hounds of war have finally been released and people are cheering as he and the other soldiers can finally, hopefully, I do mean hopefully, win. One thing is, you got to think, who is he fighting? Because no one thought to tell him. 
at all. So, he doesn't know what they have. He doesn't know who they have. So, for all he knows, he's pretty much, he could be going up against Goliath. He could, he could be pretty much a small clownfish within a whole, you could say, a shark tank with a bunch of hungry baby sharks. So, he's nervous. To a point where he's starting to mutter again. He started talking to Inko. He started to think, okay, let's see. Uh, I know I can do this. I can do that. Yada, yada, yada. The soldiers think, oh my goodness, we are going to die. Until one shows up. Listen. I know war can be scary. Yeah. Good. But... At the very least, you are the hero. Yeah. You should try acting like it. You, at the very least, you, you think, don't you? <sighs> Just imagine. Don't think of them as people. Think of them. Think of it like a video game. What? Wait, you know what a video game is? Oh, of course. Hey, there are stories of heroes actually breaking such devices with them. Hmm. Really? Ah, yes. It's actually quite interesting. You haven't really been able to work the technology here, but we know of it. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But, so you, do you really think I could do some things? All I can say is, yes, killing is difficult, especially if you've never done it before. Believe me, I remember the first life I ever took. It... It still haunts me. I can't get it out of my mind. But it does not control me. At the very least, though I am sad at what I had to do, it was necessary. We were holding out for a hero. And now, that hero is here. That hero is you. And we need your help. You must be ready to do what needs to be done. For the kingdom and everyone in it. But so many of these people, their sons, fathers, husbands, brothers, I understand that, but as are we, you can expect to, in war, you can't expect the enemy to show mercy, because they don't expect you to show it either. Besides, we need to win this. Why? If we lose, the reactor will be forfeit. What? Wait, rea Wait, I read about that. It's what keeps the, the island floating, doesn't it? Correct. Wait, so, wait, why are we... It's all we have left. Uh, that is of any true value. 
once we lose it, the kingdom is gone. Either we will assimilate it onto their island, or they will just take out the reactor and watch ours crumble before us. I can't believe it. Yeah. So you understand the severity of uh, the situation. Y y yeah. Good. So, are you ready? Yes. I'm ready as I'll ever be. As they finally drop boots and they are chanting Izuku's name. They're not really his name, just calling him a hero. Izuku so feeling the pride just overflow within him. He knows what he has to do. The only thing is, he has to make it quick. So as soon as he sees his enemy soldiers, he is gone. What well, I mean by this, think of Mara versus Supreme, practically everybody in the Great Ninja War. That's how quickly Izuku is taking out everyone. The only thing is, he's using fire, earth, lightning, darkness itself to swallow up enemy combatants. He's not enjoying himself, but he's making sure, like, he wants to pretty much force them into submission. He wants to at least show that yes, we are ones not to be the fucked with. So much so that yeah, they pretty much give up. Let's say he took out 25% of them by himself before the other soldiers even got there. So right now, who's did we win? Everyone cheering and chanting. They're so much more accepting the fact that, yep, he's a, he's our hero. He's the hero. Uh, no, I didn't have one doubt. So, you can imagine his surprise when he actually sees what they won when it comes to the war. Not only did they win gold, as well as wonderful trinkets, he sees, uh, wait, what is that? Oh, huh, it looks like an apothecary. A what? Mm, let's just say, it comes in handy for potion crafting and alchemy all the... Wait, what? Alchemy's real? Well, of course. How, how do you not know that? Well, I was never... Ah. Uh, makes sense. He didn't have the necessary facilities or equipment. What? Oh, yes. Alchemy and potion crafting is very dangerous to those who aren't appropriately uh, equipped or prepared it could be disastrous uh, really how disastrous mm, let's see ah they really like this a potion strong enough to level the whole kingdom Huh? Yes. Very dangerous stuff. That's possible. Yes. And people are allowed to 
fiddle around with it. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you misunderstand me. Like I said, you must be very well equipped, and the ingredients of making such a terrifying concoction have been outlawed. At least within the same vicinity. They are not allowed. Oh. So, yeah, we've taken precautions to ensure that it doesn't happen. Right. Are you certain of this? Of course. Good. Good. That's, that's very good. So, huh. what else did we win? Let's see, I believe we get the apothecary. We also should receive a better hmm, forge as well. What? Oh yes. At the very least we need to get ready to have it fitted. What? You see these little statues here. Yeah. That is the apothecary, as well as this one being the forge. They, anyone who has these statues can manifest either of these things, depending on what the statue is. Oh. So, if I had a statue of a island yes you could in theory in theory I'm just kidding yes you could actually have an island of your own huh okay so quick question what would it take uh, for me to get one? Huh. You're interested in starting your own kingdom, are you? Uh, well, I, I never said that, but it would have a. It would be nice to have a place for me to. a place on my own. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, but isn't the castle enough for you? Well, it's not that. It's it's not that it's not enough space. It's just whatever I do. Ah, being a, a deemed a hero. Yeah, I understand. So, you just need, yeah, I would just like to have my own space, no, my own private area. I understand. Why don't I just ask the wizard? Uh, yeah, but wouldn't it be... A little, you know, selfish to ask. So, oh, please, you're the hero. It'd be weird if you didn't ask for a reward. Hmm. Actually, I did hear a little rumor of a special type of magic that the wizard can perform that very few can actually pull off. Okay, what is it? space magic or at least dimensional <sighs> really uh wait what is that again well uh if anything think of uh 
Maybe it's like a dimension all of its own. Really? Uh, so, if I wanted to uh, have a garden or something, you could have it. Wait, really? Yes, just place it in, within the space itself and. Hmm. So, you think he'll actually teach me? I see no reason why not. I believe all you do is ask, and I believe dimensional space time magic will be very, a very good uh, thing for you to learn. Very helpful as well. Like our, our, I heard legends of one actually using it as a prison. What? Think about it. If anything, only the caster himself can actually control it. Hmm. I... Interesting. I know, right? Quite intriguing when you really think about the possible applications. So, this is dimensional magic, correct? Alright, I'll ask him as soon as I get back to the castle. Upon arriving, he's like, Um, is this a bad time? <coughs> oh, hero, I mean, uh, uh, Listen, uh, d don't tell you what you saw, what you saw, you don't mind. I don't know what I saw. Thank you. But, uh, is there something you need? Dimensional space-time magic? You know it, don't you? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Can you teach me? You, you want to learn? Yeah. Huh. I, I never would have thought. What? I, I, well, I've seen you train, and <laughs> though you do use some magic, it seem more like the brawler type. You don't even really use a sword, do you? Alone no true weapon. Uh, hmm. I, I guess. So, you really thought me as more like a brutish brawler? I mean, I mean that uh, in the best way possible. It's just, yeah. I assume you notice that not many people actually use magic. Um, I guess if I have already seen many people use it, or at least they don't seem like they can or really want to. Well, we used to have a school teaching magic until we lost it. What? Mind if I tell you a story? Sure. I, I have no problem with it. Very good. Let's see. This kingdom used to be prosperous to the point where it was the envy of all the other kingdoms. It was immaculate until, however, 
certain things started to occur. We started to notice that the king started to lose his senses as well as other members of the royal family. What? Yes. For some reason, they started to lose their minds, start having mad ravings, and start to abuse the people until they... So is that why I haven't seen they're dead? No. Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're not deceased. They're just somewhere where they can't cause any harm. Much to the point where I have technically been, you know, oh, okay, so, if anything, you're, you've technically been standing in for the royal family. Yes. That's interesting. But how about this? What if I can find a way to actually help them? Help them? Like, what are you talking about? Think about it. If, if this is an illness, there must be a way to cure it, don't you think? <laughs> that's that's a nice thought, but it's not within the realm of possibility for us. Oh. So, I, we can't help them? Not as much as we want to. No. We're going to keep them well nourished and weigh it out, hopefully. Hopefully then, and only then, will they be able to lift this weight off of my shoulders. I understand. <sighs> But I'll I'll try my best to to live up to your expectations. <laughs> Young hero, uh, I mean Izuku, you've already exceeded all of my expectations. What? You held us win the war. That's more than we could have ever asked for. Oh. Really? Yes. With you here, people have hope, which has just risen thanks to the victory that you secured for us. Really? Yes. Wow, that's... Uh, thank you. No, thank you. I... How should I put this? We are very grateful that you were chosen to be our hero. Thanks. <laughs> you, you have some of the best manners around and I think that's just wonderful. Uh, are you sure it's not weird? Of course not. Mm. I think it's good to be able to talk with someone. 
other than yourself, don't you think? So you, oh yes. Oh, I don't need to be embarrassed, young one. Yeah, if anything. The fact that you're here, and the reason you're here, there is a lot of pressure that we're trusting you with. Normally we wouldn't want to do this to someone so young, but we were desperate. So, we thank you. On behalf of the kingdom, the royal family, everyone. Izuku pretty much being... He's not like a being arrogant but he also is loving the fact that people appreciate him and for what he's done though yes he's technically a murderer it's still he's a hero as his training continues he starts to get better at it stronger to the point where two years has passed already when it comes to the whole wars being fought he's won every single one of them to a point where yes there is an army extra storage hell there's even more training grounds as well as fields for crops they're actually prospering ever since Izuku actually showed up Hmm. But for at least, he does still hope to come back home. He wonders how Inko's doing. Even though he has grown out of his more shy tendencies, he is still worried about Bakugo and everything. He really wishes he could have at least met All Might, the number one hero. You know, he wishes he had these abilities back on Earth. Just imagine the awesomeness. The only thing is, he's been studying an awful lot. Though, yes, he does worry about the overall power he currently commands, as well as building up upon it. One thing he's always thought about since he heard about it was the royal family. What kind of illness could cause such a thing? When did it start? What were the symptoms in which ugh, a lot of lunacy was afoot? So, he actually does learn, like, okay. So, they only started acting funny after they started to lose. Or well, at least, the first loss they ever had with such and such kingdom. Hmm. Interesting. And then he just wonders, okay, so what if I, what if we started a war with them? And part of our reward for winning could be information. Mm. That could work, young Midoriya. Well, the only thing is, how would you convince them to... Accept our challenge of war. <laughs> We're going to give them one thing that no one else has. One thing that no one else has. What, uh, excuse me, but what would that be? Me. <coughs> excuse me. 
I'm the bargaining chip. I'm sure they've realized that, yeah, you guys summoned a hero. Correct. In this kingdom, they don't have any mages or wizards or whatnot, do they? No, they do not. But they do have scholars. Are they able to cast so many magic like you? Not without a heavy toll. You can't. Hmm. Okay. So, what? What should I do to really show that I'm gonna be up for grabs? But there's an issue with. Uh, having yourself be the bargaining chip. Uh, what's that? You won't be able to participate in the war. <coughs> what? Yes, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you do offer yourself, you would have to be completely neutral. You wouldn't be able to help or hurt either side. You will only have to, please, you'd only be allowed to observe like the rest of us who are not on the front lines. So what you're saying is, you would have to find something else to grasp their attention. No, it could have been so easy, but uh, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's not your fault. It's, I think, wait, when's the last time you participated in a war? Well, uh, that was many, many years ago, but uh, what if we offer them you? I beg your pardon. Yeah, if we offer them you, then they like, wait, wait, wait. Hey, young Madoka, do you realize what you're proposing? I mean, granted, I will do whatever it takes to, you know. But this is ludicrous. What, what's so crazy about it? Well, think of it. If you were to lose... I won't lose. Uh, you say that, but you don't know what they are capable of. He, we don't even know what clear tactics he used to beat us the last time. I understand. But if there's even a slight chance I truly wish to free the king of queens was their offspring. Yes. Someone has to get that one way off your shoulders. <laughs> uh, Majora, you truly are an interesting character. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, it was. Please. So, there. We're offering up myself to those uh, barbarians. Exactly. Hmm. Even then, they might try to bait you into being part of the prize as well. Why? Because they know that they may stand no chance when it comes to you. So, before we truly ask for this war, I think you should, should uh, train. Oh, believe me, I, I mean, I can ramp up my tra training regimen. No, no, no. 
I'm talking about the soldiers. You can't get them to your level. That goes without saying, but just in case. I understand. 